Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazpeacehobbyland.com. Fly, Eagles, fly. We live in a world now where the Eagles are Super Bowl champs. And to commemorate the end of the football season, we have our six-box end-of-the-year football mixer from jazpeacehobbyland.com. This is random team break number one. As you can see, the next one is already in the store. We can run this back one more time. But for break number one, big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. Tyler with the last spot mojo. All 32 teams are in. Let's randomize each list 10 times. 5 and a 5, 10 the hard way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. After 10 times, we have Nick down to Elijah. Five out of five, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten times, Browns down to the Chiefs. And here's how the list shakes out, ladies and gentlemen. We have Nick B with the Browns. William, you have the Bills. Dave Barrows with the Seahawks. Mike Tower, you got the Saints. Ryan with the Bengals. Adrian, you got the Chargers. David Kist with the Jaguars. Karen with the Giants. Steve, you got the Rams. Trevor uh, with the Raiders, my Raiders, and the Cowboys. That could be a future, uh, a near future Super Bowl matchup. Dave Barrows with the Lions. Tyler, last spot mojo, Falcons. Thomas, you got the Buccaneers. Brian C with the Colts. Michael G with the Texans. Corey, you got the Niners. Nick with the Packers. Brian with the Cardinals. Joe with the Titans. Rory, you got the Panthers. Trevor with the uh, Ravens. Tyler with the Patriots. Mentor, you got the Bears. Jason K with the Redskins. Trevor with the Dolphins. Brian with the Broncos. Garen, you got the Eagles. Uh, Vikings for John. Will with the Jets. Bill with the Steelers. And Elijah with the Chiefs. So there you go. There you have it, folks. Sort by column B. And let's print this out. Trades are allowed. Feel free to trade if you want to. Um, all the boxes appear to be 2017, except for that box of 2015 Crown Royale sitting back there. So feel free to trade away, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, MH saying Bossman and Nick should be pretty happy this week. They are. I was over at the place, at their place for, uh, at the Bossman's place for the Super Bowl. The gang were there. And uh, it was a pretty intense Super Bowl. Everyone was really happy. Um, I mean, it was, it was, it was an emotional, uh, it was an emotional moment there. You know, the game was so close. Scoring back, back and forth. Tom Brady with the ball in the last moments of the game. Twice, I think. So there's a lot of concerns there. But it was pretty great. I mean it's uh it's a it's a historic moment. I don't think I, I think it's been well well said that I don't think they uh they've won championships, I believe, but they, they have not won like since like the creation of the Super Bowl, they have not done that. But it, it was a uh, but uh, you know, for someone uh, you know who's a Raiders fan, you know, I, I, you know, I don't really have, you know, I was definitely leading Eagles, you know, that that uh, that is for sure. But it's still essentially a neutral fan. I mean, it was great. It was a great moment. It was a great. Uh, it was a great Super Bowl. Can I can I reenact the reactions on on Tom Brady's fumble? Well, I'll I'll tell you what. Uh, before, before Tom Brady had the ball stripped away from his hand, a few moments before that, I pretty much said, because everyone, we were all in the room, we were all saying, they need a turnover here, they need a turnover here. And I was like, yeah, they should just strip sack him or something like that, you know? And then it happened, and then it was just hands on head, everyone popped up from their seats, you know? And everyone, uh, everyone just freaked out. You know, like there were, there were hands, 
They were hands on heads and people looking at each other. And then we were looking for penalty flags. We're like, everyone's like, calm down, calm down. Let's look for, let's look at if there's any laundry on the field. They're going to call, someone's going to call something, you know. There must have been a penalty. Someone was holding somebody, you know, like, I don't know. They're going to call it an incomplete pass. I don't know what it, what, what they were going to do, but we were, we were all like, nothing. It was clean. And then everyone had kind of exploded again. All right, looks like there's a looks like there's not going to be any trades. So let's close up that trade window. Let's get into the break. But yeah, it was a it was a pretty great uh, it was a pretty great moment. All right, here's the final printout for this here. So this is break number one. I need to shake up the toner a little bit here. So at least you see that it remains the same. There's Mothro, Mothro with the Fly Eagles fly. Start with playoff first. Mothro, big Eagles fan, he's excited. Yeah, the parade should be pretty crazy. So how much, uh, does anyone know from like the news reports how much damage was caused like the night of, that Sunday night? I don't know if I really even looked that up. There were more arrests in New England than Wow. So the boss man in the background stating that there were more arrests in New England than they were in Philadelphia. Were they arresting Philadelphia Eagles fans in New England? No, they were arresting Just angry Patriots fans? Wow. So so Patriots fans throwing toys out of the playpen, huh? Now cuz they didn't get their way. Tantrums. <laughs> All right. Slide through these really quick. We've got Curtis Martin to 299 for the Jets. We'll sleeve and top load that a little bit. They'll be top loaded before they get shipped out. That's numbered. Boss Hogs. Devonta Freeman to 199. And we've got a Trubisky here. Mitch Trubisky. Air Command Relic, 32 out of 99 for Mentor with that one. Nice, and this will go to the Falcons, Tyler, with that one. And then we've got, the autograph is Corey Davis, nice. 60 out of 199. For the Titans, Joe Fugundis with the Titans. Joe, weren't you trying to trade the Titans? Thought I might, might have noticed that in the chat. Yeah, he was trying to trade the Titans. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Happening here. There's Gary Ann Connolly, 299 for my Raiders. And that's that. Nice first box, nice start.
All right. Prism. Three autographs, nine number parallels. <laughs> William Lovica. William Lovica saying that uh, reporting from the police blotter. From Sunday night, Bozeman, Montana police report, quote, an intoxicated man who was wearing a New England Patriots jersey fell and got a gash on his head in a Mendenhall Street lobby at 10 p.m. Sunday. Sad times. Karen saying, Karen, a gracious Patriots fan, she's saying congrats to the Bozeman and all Eagles fans. It was a great game, Karen. I, I, I did not expect that many, uh, just that many points. That many yards, that much offense. I think it was. It almost felt like 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 a like an NBA All Star game where they were just like, we're not going to play defense today. It's just let's just try to let's tr try to outscore each other. Oh, I did too. Karen's like, I expected more of a defensive game from both teams. Yeah. I think I think the entire room. Uh, I was watching at the boss man's house with the gang, and um, I think a lot of us. I think a majority of us took the under on the total points. That was that was over by like the second quarter. I think. All right, Prism of football. Yeah, I'd like to know what the Malcolm Butler story is all about. Like, did he like? Not make curfew or something. Like, there must have been some some team rule. He must have. He must thirty two out of two seventy five. Derek Barnett. But I I don't know if that's if that story has come out yet, on what the deal was with Malcolm. Blank. Oh, was there some sort of conflict a week ago? But he was practicing. He was doing all all uh, two seventy five. James White, for the Patriots. So Eagles and Patriots coming out of here. And there's Kyle Rudolph at a 75 for the Vikings. If there, well, there was a conflict with him a week ago, but then why have him practice and then tell him he's not going to play just before the national anthem starts? Like, that seems that seems kind of silly. There's Philip Rivers out of 49. Is, is that true, Joe? He, he missed he missed curfew and was 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 caught with some with some, with a with a sticky green like substance. Thirty one out of ninety nine. Andrew Luck for the Colts. Green scope is what they call that parallel. That was a big game changer. There's Brandon Cooks. For the Patriots, for Tyler, that's out of 199. Him getting knocked out with a concussion that that took away a lot of the uh, their Patriots' ability to stretch the field. There's, a, I mean, that game had it all. There's Chad Kelly out of 199 for the Broncos. And Gerald Everett to 149. Wave autograph for the Rams. That'll go to Steve Freeze. Well, yeah, and Karen, you're right. Brady still threw over 500 yards without Brandon Cooks. I mean, that that's just insane. <laughs> I had the uh, uh, I, I I for for the for the friendly wagering that I sometimes do. I went with I went with the Eagles with the points, and the and the money line, took the under which I lost. Uh, I got lucky on uh, I I took a I did a prop bet, and I said that uh, that Alshon Jeffrey would score the first touchdown, for the Eagles and for, and for the game, I nailed that. That was a, that was pretty cool. That was lucky. There's James Conner for the Steelers. Um. But I had uh, but the crazy thing is I had Gronk 
under on yards. I think Bovada had uh, had Gronkowski at like seventy five and a half. Uh, nice Patrick Mahomes autograph. Nice. Look at that. Elijah with the new Chiefs starting quarterback. It's a good time to get Patrick Mahomes. Five out of ninety nine. Uh, but I was going to say, uh, I took the under on, on total yards at 75 and a half for Gronkowski. And at like second or third quarter or something like that, he was still only had one catch at nine yards. And I was like crowing about it. I was bragging about how. <laughs> about how and then next thing you know, they, they started feeding Gronk. And I was like, and that, and that, <laughs> that prop was busted very quickly. There's Hankersley for the Dolphins. That'll be for uh, that'll be for Trevor. There you go, Trevor. There's Patrick Peterson out of 149 for the Cardinals, and that's your prison box, which was a nice one. That with that Mahomes, the parallel, not too shabby at all. Uh, let's go into, yeah, let's go into Absolute. So, a uh, big question is, what, uh, you know, I, I, I know, this this is just like, just like our modern society to, to move on and not enjoy the moment. Uh, what about Nick Foles? Where does he go? Boss man, what, what do you do with Nick Foles? You, you keep him? That's not a bad idea. I would keep Nick Foles as well. Everyone's talking about, oh, what could you get for Nick Foles in a trade? No, Nick Foles is like your best insurance policy for Carson Wentz ever. Carson Wentz doesn't have to rush back from, from, his, uh, from his major surgery. Carson, take as much time as you need to. You know, don't just be 95%. Be 100%. Nick Foles will keep the seat warm for you, and he'll do just fine. All right, 2017 Absolute Football. Yeah, I don't think Nick Foles is going anywhere. Oh, is that right? Tyler saying Carson won't be back until October at Absolute Earliest. Oh, I get it. I see what you did there, Absolute Earliest. Um, oh, well, if that's the case, yeah, Foles isn't going anywhere. Fancy flashbacks. Barry Sanders. And then we've got Tajay Sharp, 17 out of 99, Iconic Inc. for Joe and the Titans. we got Dual Relic, 22 out of 99, Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, Dual Relic. Uh, no, he, he is not a free agent. Nick Foles signed a two-year backup deal. This was his first year. Out of 499, there's Jared Davis for the Lions. Your triple relic and autograph is rookie premier Jamal Williams. 375 out of 399. That goes to the Packers. Nick B. Um, Tyler's asking, if you keep Foles and he goes 6-0 and and Carson is ready to go, then what do you do? You go with Carson Wentz. Listen, it's still Nick Foles. Let's not forget. <laughs> you know, we're not talking about Tom Brady here. Nick Foles, I mean, it's a great story, but if you're if you're going to be a, a businessman about it, you know, and you, you look to the, uh, you look to the future... And that, that future is not named Nick Foles. <laughs> Out of 499, Deion, Deion Sanders, Falcons edition. And we've got Josh Reynolds, triple relic and autograph. 66 out of 99. That's a nice looking one for the Rams. Steve Freeze with the Rams. Uh, oh, Mentor was asking... Uh, 
You think they would win with Wentz starting in the Super Bowl of Foles? Yes. Out of 175 Groundhogs. Ezekiel Elliott going to Trevor and the Cowboys. And there's Josh McCown and Matt Stafford back there. All right, uh, let's go into some, uh, some old 2015 Crown Royale. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Dano is absolutely right. Yeah, Wentz is the guy in Philly. He's the future of the team. They're not going. They're not going with Foles. Foles is a nice story. It's a great story. It's better than nice. It's an amazing story. And he uh, he put together an amazing playoff run. Well, yeah, well, that's what that's why you keep Nick Foles, just in case that, that injury takes longer for Carson Wentz to re recover from or not. There's Mike Davis to 199. Remember, this is 2015 Crown Royale. So that's rookie royalty die cut. Uh, Ice, we do not do personal boxes here. Sorry. I guess you could buy out a break, buy out a one-box break. That would be a personal box, but no, we do not. We focus on... Uh, on group case break so we can get everybody involved. Wow. Achievements relic. Look at that NFL shield. That's Chris Carter. All he does is catch touchdowns. Wow. So that goes to the Minnesota Vikings. John B. with that one. It's a one of one Chris Carter NFL shield. One of one. I was just hiding there since 2015. There you go. John, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Wow. It's been a nice break thus far. We got 20 out of 25. Look at this. Rookie royalty, Eric Rowe. Die cut autograph. For the Fly Eagles Fly for Garrett. Out of 25. Nice. There's Jeremy Macklin Gold. 3 out of 99. There's Trey Williams at a 99 for the Redskins. And there's Duke Johnson, the Duke. Rookie royalty. Uh, that relic will go to the Browns. That'll be for, for Nick, Nick B. 75 out of 199. Trey Williams was out of 99. It's nice. All right, Origins. And remember, folks, we have another version of this break. Same six boxes in the store right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So if you want to run this back, we definitely should. It's pretty fun. Nice boxes, too. J Jadavion Clowney, Tyler Eifert, Alex Smith to 299. And behind Antonio Gates, behind Antonio Gates is John Ross, 53 out of 99. That'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Ryan, Royal Force Speed. Behind Antonio Gates is Jamal Williams for the Go Pack Go. Nick B with that gold ink autograph, 15 out of 25. 
And the last one behind Antonio Gates is our Darius Stewart. Two color patch and autograph for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Bulldog fan with the Jets. Will with that one. And the last box coming up. We have 2017 uh, immac Penny Immaculate Collegiate Football. Let me pull up a checklist really quick. So we're going to be using groupbreakchecklist.com because they have done all the work to attach the pro teams to the uh, to the college uniforms that these people are wearing, that these players are wearing. Now, in the case of the checklist, uh, in case of a checklist not having that, then we use our normal college rules, which would be current, uh, whatever current team they're they're on, if they're their college uniform. But for the college specific sets, oftentimes there are updated checklists attached to it, which is nice, which makes life easier for me. Okay, good luck everybody. We're going to start off with 41 out of 99. Paxton Lynch. Uh, no, Rory, no Panthers as of yet. Paxton Lynch will go to the Broncos. We have 25 out of 38. Thomas Rawls Relic. You know, you see the little M's right there, too. It's a nice little detail. That goes to uh, the Seahawks. That'll be for Dave Barrows. Got a thick card here. It's Kareem Hunt. Gloves. 18 out of 48. Sweet Kareems are made of these. That goes to the Chiefs for Elijah. We'll have to put this in a different box here. Set that aside. Then we got a helmet. Wow. Patrick Mahomes' helmet from his Texas Tech days. 19 out of 49. That's a nice one for the Chiefs. It goes along nicely with that autograph. Tag brand logo. That's got to be, is that a, is that a one of one? Tag brand logo, it has to be, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a one of one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Immaculate Signatures, Rookie Patches, Laundry Tag, Brand, Logo. It's going to be either out of five or or possibly a one of one. Oh, Brand, Logo, Tag, five of five or one of one, they say. It's a train whistle either way, but you'll find out when you redeem it, Cowboys. That's Noah Brown. You got the Immaculate Signature, Rookie, Patches, Laundry, Tag, Brand, Logo. That's pretty strong. Who has the Cowboys in this one? Trevor with the Cowboys. Trevor Hardway, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. We'll set that aside. A couple more to go. We got Jersey Auto Zay Jones, 31 out of 99 for the Bills. And that'll go to William Lobica with the Bills. Nice Zay Jones. And last but not least. We have two color patch and autograph. Western Michigan's Corey Davis. Moore tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Joe Fagundes. He was trying to get his Giants. But instead he ends up with a couple Corey Davis autographs out of this mixer. Sometimes that's how it goes, Joe. And there you go, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, that was our six-box end-of-the-year football mixer, random team football mixer number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got one more right there, so go to the website right there. Go to that website, and let's do another one of these. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.